These women you see here are on the same journey as they embark on the long march in the midst of Chalbi Desert in the northern parts of Kenya. Traveling across the long stretches of straight and narrow paths through the stones of mighty desert to reach their sacred water well. To them, water is not just something to consume, but a symbol of their existence and sometimes their struggle. <laughs> They originate from the El Molo ethnic group, which is the smallest ethnic group in Kenya and is currently facing the danger of total extinction. They live on the shores of Lake Turkana, where they settled some 3,000 years ago, but throughout their lives they have struggled to find fresh water, since Lake Turkana is the biggest saline lake in Africa, hence not suitable for core usage like drinking. <laughs> Na sasa uh, kwa sababu ya hiyo jilali uh, pia uh, hakuna maji ambayo inapatikana hapo. On this 2 hours journey under the scorching sun of the desert, these women intend to reach their ancestors' water well where they praise their god for the blessings of life. Lengu Yasaini is the leader of this group and knows more about their struggle. My name is Naniyora Saini Lenguya, and I am the leader of this group of women. They had gone through a lot in their lives, they live in a poor area, and they're experiencing difficult life because of poverty. They used to have goats and cows, but it is no longer the case. When they come on this well to pray, they ask God to help them and to improve their lives. They believe that their God can change their situation and make their life much better. El Molo people, who are mostly pastoralists, are some of the poorest people in the whole of Kenya because of various factors, including climate change, which has reduced their cattle, and the fact that they live right in the middle of the desert. But even with their problems, they maintained a special respect for water, especially this small water well here, which offers them a source of rare fresh water. Yeah. <laughs> According to their traditions, the El Molo people faced a severe drought that threatened their survival. The people were desperate for water and prayed for their ancestral spirits for help. One day, a young girl was out gathering firewood when she heard the sound of rushing water coming from a nearby hill. She followed the sound and came upon a small spring, which was flowing with cool, clear water. The girl was overjoyed and ran back to her village to tell the story to others. The people went to the spring and saw that it was indeed flowing with fresh water. They believed that their prayers had been answered and that the spring was a gift from their ancestors. They named it the Spring Lorang, which means to pray, and it became a sacred place. Today, this water well remains an important site for El Molo religious ceremonies and rituals. The people go there to pray, ask for blessings, and perform traditional dances and songs. They believe that the water from the spring has special healing powers, and they use it for both physical and spiritual purification. Every year, the people of this ethnic group make these glaring pilgrimages to this source of fresh water, which they take as a symbol of their survival and a statement of their future. This water is a symbol of good life and blessing to our tribe, especially that we are living in the desert, where it is difficult to find fresh water, and Lake Tukana is filled with saline water which limits its usage to our livelihood. It takes a long journey for them to come here and use this water. It's tough, but they manage to do it, and they somehow survive. 
When these women reach this water well, they take their time and pray for the blessing of having this source of fresh water. Their prayers are not only about praising the God, but also asking for more blessings and future protection. After praying, these women drink this water, a symbolic gesture of good health, as they believe this fresh water to protect them from diseases and other harsh conditions and to heal those who are severely ill. They also use this water to clean their bodies as a symbol of physical protection and a purification of their souls from the devil. They will then fetch some of the water in their small pots, which they mix with milk and spread them across trees and land. They believe that doing so will help them to get needed rain in the future, which in turn will increase their harvest and ensure their survival in the harsh conditions of the desert. They have been praying for a long time to praise our God, who has uncovered this well for us. This ceremony helps every year and it lasts six months. They came from various places and pray together. As they pray, they will spread this water to each other and sing the songs of praising God together. It is a sign of love among us and it symbolizes our shared mission to protect our culture and our ethnic. In the past, it was a good way of reaffirming our commitment to our ethnic, and it was important in times of troubles since it emphasized cooperation among us. The El Molu people believe that their prayers are what made this water well possible, and they believe that it is a symbol of their existence. In this time of distress, where their culture, language, and traditions are under immense pressure, as a result of modernization, they believe that this water well can help them to sustain their lifestyle in the centuries to come. The process of life is a continuous struggle to overcome our shortcomings and establish the best versions of ourselves, which ultimately leads to us being the best gifts the world can give. But this journey is not easy and the road to the prize is not a straightforward line but rather a constant struggle that can seem to lead to nowhere. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe.